Hey guys, the objective of this video is to use free body diagrams to deduce support reactions. So we're going to start off by looking at the case of a simply supported beam. Now, what a simply supported beam is, is it is just a beam that is supported on two sides. And one side, on one end, you have a pin joint. So this here is a pin joint. And this side we have a roller joint or a roller support. Um, Basically, the reason that we set up beams like this is this material that the beam is made out of can, will often uh, contract and expand under temperature change. So there is a need for this beam to be able to get longer and get shorter. So that's why we don't fix it at both ends. That's why we have a roller joint at one end. So it can move back and forth in that direction. Uh, that's used a lot in civil engineering. It's used in bridges, roads, all sorts of things where you have materials that will expand and contract. So the way we go about solving this problem, well, firstly, we're going to draw in a couple of forces just to make this a little bit more interesting. So have a couple of forces, a couple of point loads here, here, and here. Uh, now, what we start off by doing when we're um, drawing a free body diagram, we, we draw in the forces that we know. So we know there's an external force here, an external force here, and an external force here. So now we have to draw in these support reactions. So we start with A, it's a pin joint. So we know that um, it can support horizontal loads and vertical loads. 